Hello and welcome to this Minecraft showcase with me, Groover. Now today what I have for you is this new iron farm, which is called the Iron Singularity. And the reason it's called the Iron Singularity is because the door layout is extremely dense. Let's just flip around and have a little look at this and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. So we've got 276 villages laid out across three layers, which you can see there. Also, this design has got a flat satellite layout. So you can see the satellites are over there, 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 and one down there. And that basically means that this layout can be stacked as much as you like. If you know what you're doing, you can stack this farm up as much as you like without any problem. Now, 276 villages is very, very close to the theoretical limit of 288. Beyond that, we're getting into sort of real glitches, you know, glitches, do double door registration, all that kind of thing. So 288 is the absolute maximum. And this one is running at 276. And I took out a little, little chunk on each wing to fit in this little contraption so that the villagers can go up and down and register the doors at the right time. Now, another feature with this design is it is completely hopperless. I'm using no hoppers in this design anywhere. There's a couple of hoppers below and that's for the storage. And that's it, everything else in here is completely hopperless. So we've got droppers and pistons and observers and all sorts of stuff going on up here, but no hoppers, which I think is kind of cool. So let's see, what can, I, what can I say about this farm? It's got 276 villages. It's going to give around about 2,760 golems per hour, which equates to around about 11,000 ingots per hour, which is a lot of iron. It uses 46 villagers, so you've got two out there, one over there, one over there, and one in each wing, and then 40 down below, just to get the maximum number of golems out of this thing. Now, I haven't got any villagers in here now because it kind of hates my computer and doesn't like me recording it, so let's give this a try and see what happens. So I'm going to put in 40 villagers here. And one for luck. So I'm using the ladder trick, which I actually saw ETA using for the first time. Um, I'd heard about it, but hadn't actually seen it. So, you know, whoever came up with that, well done. But I saw ETA doing it, so <laughs> the, the credit goes there. And there we go. We get a load of instant golems. So I let this build up without any villagers in there so that I could do a little bit of recording. And hopefully this is coming through okay for you guys now. Lots of golems, lots of iron. I've sort of been messing about with this. Let's have a look in there. Yeah, there's there's plenty of iron around the place. So, yeah. Now, one downside of this design is it is locational, which means it can only build, be built in the negative x, negative z coordinates. Now, I'm not sure if it is possible to make this non-locational because I know that the tolerances that I've been working with on this farm are absolutely wafer thin. There are very, you know, you might just be able to squeeze this out and make it non-locational, but I don't think so at the moment. Maybe I'm wrong. Prove me wrong, guys. Now, another thing is I know that ETA has been tweeting and he's put a little video showing a 288 village layout. Now, I think that's possible. I know at the moment it's not really been used. It's in theory stage, I guess. And knowing ETA, it's probably going to be a good theory. But for now, this is the most dense layout. But I don't think that it's possible to get 288 villages out of a flat satellite layout. Okay? That's what I believe. Having gone around this a few times, I don't think it's possible. Again, prove me wrong. I've got no problem with being proved wrong. I'd love to see it done. Okay, so it's time for a couple of shout outs. I'd like to make my first shout out to Will Kreplin for the name of the farm. Um, he suggested the Iron Singularity. I liked it. We're going with that. I think it works. I think it denotes the density of the door layout and all that kind of thing. So thank you for that. I wanted to say thank you to ETA740. Great technical player, great iron farmer, really, really knows his stuff. And a couple of times, he's just said a couple of things to me and it's put me on the right track in terms of how I'm thinking and what I should be working on with this. So, yeah, thank you for that. 
I'd also like to thank Tom in the Discord community. He has put me on track with a couple of things like this little module over here, which um, he showed me and he said this is something by Il Mango. And I liked it, so I'm using it. And it helps do all of the villager control stuff for me in a nice way without any hoppers or anything again. And finally, thank you to everyone else in the Discord community for generally putting up with my moanings whilst I've been working on this. And when it's failed and when it's not worked and when things have gone wrong and when I thought it wasn't going to ever work and all those kinds of things. So thank you for that. So finally, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this little showcase video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do drop me a like down below. It really lets me know that people are enjoying the content that I'm making. Also, if you've got any questions, drop me a comment. Down below in the description, there'll be a link to a world download for this farm. And then you can have a look at it and, you know, pull it to pieces, build it up again. I don't mind. Go for it. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.